Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So today is going to be a highly requested one. When I did my PR haul, sharing with you guys all the new stuff in makeup, I had shared with you that Buxom came out with six new lipsticks. They're actually 90s inspired nude lipstick shades. And this is something I was so excited about when I received it. So I wanted to try them all out with you guys on camera and do lip swatches so we can get a better idea of what each of them looks like. I also wanted to put on some 90s inspired outfit and hair to kind of like get in the mood. I feel like I definitely got into the spirit. What is your favorite song from the 90s? I think that would be so much fun to hear like what were your favorite bands and stuff. I am all about stuff in the 90s. I love all the TV shows, music, all that kind of stuff. Keep on watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. It is that red button down below. Also tap that little bell right next to the subscribe button so you will get notified when I upload new videos. I upload tons of videos on Shop With Me's hauls. If you want to find out what all these lipsticks look like, then just keep on watching. <laughs> on the lipsticks. They retail for $20 each. I'll link them down below for you guys on the Ulta website. They're called the Full Force 90s Plumping Lipsticks. So they have hyaluronic acid in them. They are supposed to make your lips a bit more plump and they do have a cooling effect on your lips when you put them on, which is really nice. And these were developed with makeup artist and influencer Ash K. Holm. I'm sure you guys have heard of her before, but she worked with Buxom to develop these shades. You guys know about the 90s. It was all about that brown lip, really having that like pouty kind of nude tone. I loved seeing like 90210 and just seeing how the style of makeup was. I wanted to do like browns on my eyes, do a little bit of a cut crease to kind of go with all the lipstick so i was trying to do that whole like supermodel eye i watched a tutorial on youtube and kind of tried to copy it all right guys so let's get on into all the lipsticks and start testing them out so if you saw my pr haul they came in this cute box and we have six different lipsticks here to try so we do have some more nude shades and then we have some deeper shades as well like angels deeper pop star i'm really excited to try all those out i am going to be prepping my lips a little bit with some chapstick because it got really cold here in new york so my lips are just so dry no matter how much i mask moisturize like my lips just feel like so stiff it's really annoying it'll go from light to dark so i will start out with heartthrob which is this one right here thinking what i'll do is i'll do the color by itself on my lips and then i'll go in and add like a lip liner with it so you guys can see what both look like so without a lip liner and then with a lip liner on the ulta website heartthrob is described as a light warm nude the other thing i love about the lipsticks is when you push them up they actually have all these little lips around the imprint like on the actual lipstick which is really pretty all right guys so here is heartthrob by itself These are really smooth going on. Very creamy. Ooh, I love this one. I knew I was going to love this one because it's a pink nude, which is my personal favorite lip color ever. You guys already know if you watch my video. What it looks like a little closer up so you guys can see better just on its own. I know a lot of people probably are going to prefer to wear this with a lip liner because this might definitely be... A little too nude for some different skin tones. I'm gonna add some of Max lip pencil in Soar. One of my favorites. It's like a pink, deep kind of pink color. That looks so, so beautiful with Soar. Just adds a little bit of extra color so it's not so light nude. This is definitely not like the lightest nude I've ever tried. It's not light like say a, um, a MAC Flesh Pot or Creme de Nude. Um, definitely has more of a pinky tone to it, but it looks really pretty with Soar. Next up, we're going to use Fly Girl. This one is described as a peachy beige nude. Go in with this right on our lip. No liner. Mm. 
The formula is really nice and smooth and creamy. I definitely wouldn't wear by itself. This one's almost a little too nude, too skin tone like for me to wear by itself. So I think this one I definitely want to pair with a lip liner for sure. It's a little more brown to it, whereas the other one I tried on was more pink. So this is by itself. Gonna add Buxom's Undercover Plump Line Lip Liner. Let's go back in with Fly Girl. Okay, much better, and I feel like this color looks so much more like a 90s tone when it is paired with this lip liner. I think they look like such a nice combo and I really like the color way more now that I have this lip liner on with it. Also go back in after. You apply the lipstick and just touch it up. This reminds me so much of like a lip combo you would see on like 90210. You would see Kelly Taylor rocking. Okay, next up we're gonna go for Supermodel. This one looks a little bit more like a mid-tone, kind of your lips but better shade. So there's just a little look at what it looks like in the tube. Supermodel is described as a rose tone nude. Going in with no lip liner. I feel like this is a color that everyone will probably universally like. I actually like this color more than I thought I would. It's like a really nice kind of everyday color with this one. It's definitely a my lips but better type of shade. But I do want to see what it looks like with a lip liner. So let's go now and take this off and add a lip liner. Now going back in with Supermodel. I really like this lip combo with the lip liner. Definitely deepened it up a bit. But I feel like this is kind of a good go-to more vampy lip. If you have a similar skin tone to me and you don't want to go full on like brown, I feel like this is the perfect in between to kind of test out a 90s nude kind of lip without going so dark. This is like kind of the safer version and I really like this. I would definitely wear this combo again. I think it's super pretty and flattering. All right guys, next up we are going to try out Popstar. So this one is described as a cinnamon brown nude. So this is probably going to be more of the like traditional brown 90s nude. A close up on the color. I really, really like this one, Popstar. I feel like this is another one that's not so brown where it's scary. It's a really nice in-between, really pretty fall color. I love the way it looks paired with like this whole black <laughs> outfit choker scenario I got going on. I feel like it just looks so 90s. Like I feel like I need like a little mole bark right here on my cheeks. Very like Cindy Crawford. And here is what Popstar looks like paired again with that same liner, the Buxom undercover lip liner. I think these also look really pretty together so you can use that liner with literally all of these shades. Next up we have Dreamboat and Dreamboat is described as a toffee brown nude. So here's what it looks like. Definitely going into a deeper brown kind of territory here. I'm excited for this one. So this is Dreamboat. I definitely do not think this is a flattering color on me and my skin tone. I feel like this would be really pretty on another skin tone. It just doesn't look right. It's not the right color for me. I will try it out with a lip liner and see how it looks. So I went ahead and added this Ace Beauté liner in Be Peachy. It is like a little bit more of a brown tone color. And then I added Dreamboat on top of it. I definitely like it better than when Dreamboat was by itself. still don't feel like it's the right lip shade for me. I don't know. It's okay. Just not my favorite. And last up in the collection is actually the deepest color. This is Angel. It's like the deepest brown shade. And this is described on the website as a rich brown nude. Straight up brown. So let's go ahead and try this. So here is Angel applied to my lips. I actually really like this one. Um, again, I don't know if it's like the most flattering shade for me, but I do like the tone. I think it is really pretty 
totally a 90s shade. I feel like it looks really nice with this flannel I have on. All right, guys, I just went all out and I did a deep brown lip liner. This is Be Fabulous in, oh, this is from One Click Beauty and the shade is Be Fabulous. I think that's the name of it. It came in like a little kit, the ultimate brown <laughs> nude. It definitely deepened up the look and I think adding this also made it look a lot more 90s because they wore heavy dark lip liner in that era that was like totally the look even if you wore one of these lighter nudes with a darker pink lipstick that would be so pretty I've been really into that look recently I think it looks really just kind of like stands out and just I don't know just looks really nice and if you guys want to get really into the whole 90s look I threw my hair up in these two little like pigtails so I just took literally two of the front pieces of my hair and put them up in just little hair ties and I think it looks so cute um so definitely try out this look it's just something fun and different I've seen a lot of people wear their hair like this so that is it for this video you guys I hope you enjoyed seeing all the swatches on my lips of the buxom full force 90s plumping lipsticks I really love these I have to say if I had to pick favorites it would be probably the four lighter shades of course you know I like the lighter nudes so heartthrob fly girl pop star and supermodel were definitely my favorite I love these I think they're so beautiful and just pop on like a deeper lip liner and you have the perfect 90s lip thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this if you did give this video a thumbs up comment down below which lipstick was your favorite and i will see you guys in my next one bye